nagbabalik tayo sa Kababayan Today. Bakit po importanteng suportahan ang Criers for Hire? Let's watch this. For me to be able to speak Tagalog, in, especially at East West Players, um, it, it was such a big deal because right before Criers for Hire, right even before auditioning, um, I said to someone, you know, I really miss speaking my language, my and, you know, I was very specific. I miss speaking Tagalog and I, speak, I miss speaking my dialect. I just miss everything about the Philippines. Akala ko ba hindi mo gusto yung klase niyan? Not the class, the students. They're nicer now kasi they understand what I'm saying. They don't even quack at me anymore. We're watching the new John Waters film, Hairspray. You can use my Aquanet. Hindi mo naman kailangan manood ng pelikula para maayos ang buhok mo. It's cheaper. It's really taking people into our culture and not not uh, just describing to them of how it is to live there or what our culture is, but to really speak it. What, ha? Huh? Gusto kong malaman kung sino pa sasama dyan. Mga nerds lang. No need to worry. Worry is my middle name. At mag-ingat ka sa mga lalaki. They only have one thing on their minds. You're poking. Naman! Naman talaga! I think people are going to relate to the story of Criers for Hire, especially if you're an immigrant. Filipino immigrants living here. Kasi makikita nila yung dynamic between yung mga lumaki dito, born and raised here, yung mga kakalipat lang dito na teenager, or lumipat na dito ng medyo, you know, medyo um, middle age na. There's, um, there's always... Basta immigrant ka, there's someone you can relate to in this story. And then it's our story, so it tells our story, our culture in America. Hindi mo naman kailangan manood ng pelikula para maayos ang buhok mo. It's cheaper. Cheaper, ma. Cheaper. Front vowel sound, double E. As an actress, it means so much to me, first of all, to be playing a Filipino role. I've never played a Filipino role before, and this is my first time, and I've always wanted to play Filipino. So this is the best time to do it because I'm playing Filipino and I get to speak Tagalog on stage. Uh, I think Filipino Americans need to see this production because there isn't a story like this out there. This is one of the first Filipino American stories, and I think it needs to be told. Um, I think anybody can relate to it, not only Filipino Americans, but anybody who's immigrated here. Born here, what does that have to do with anything? You may sound like them, but when they look at you, they see us. So stop acting like you're better than me. Who said anything about being better the than anyone? The problem with you Americans is that you always treat us Dama like... Na, that's enough! It's able to capture the essence of the Filipino, na melodramatic talaga, but in a very realistic setting. If you want to see more of our stories, this has to be a success. And it can't be a success unless you come out to the theater, tell your friends, tell your kamag-anaks, bring the people you work with, and just come in droves uh, para sold out kami. Kasi kung hindi mangyayari yun, uh, we won't be able to see more of our stories being told. So, punta na po kayo. We open um, February 17 up to March 13. Um, Cryers for Hire po. Support your Filipino artists. Tandaan nyo po, gamitin nyo ang Kababayan 10 for $10 off to watch Cryers for Hire at the East West Players running till March 13. Maraming salamat po for watching us. Ako po si G. Tanji.